Hey guys, Cece here. So I have, oh my god, yes, another video. Who likes my green St. Patty's Day lips? Happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you that celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And yes, I figured um, I should pull out some uh, special lip gear for you guys today. Maybe I could get lucky. Get it? I'm kidding, let me stop being corny. <laughs> hey guys, Cece here. So as you can tell from the title of my video, this is a tag video. Um, I saw this last night on, I believe it's A1 Netty 2.0. Um, she goes by Annette. So she had this tag and she tagged her um, subbies. So I figured I'd go ahead and jump on the bandwagon and do it as well. So I don't have as much goodies or name brand stuff to show like she did. Mm, I'm sorry. I feel something there. I feel so weird with green lips. Okay, guys. <laughs> so, um, but I still thought I had some pretty neat stuff that I wanted to show you guys. And these are basically, this tag is basically about like repurchased items, I believe um, the tag is. I'll put the name, the correct title and everything. But it's basically like an item or makeup item that you constantly find yourself buying over and over. So I'm going to jump right into it and I'm going to show you guys my faves that I can't live without and I use all the time. I repurchase these all the time. So the first thing I have here is L'Oreal Paris True Matte Super Blend Powder. And this one is in Cocoa. And this is just one of the ones that I use to help couture my face and stuff like that. And I've already found myself buying this one several times. This one's a little beat up already, you know, just the paper and stuff like that. The next one that I find myself buying, and I recently found out about this, I would say a few months ago, and I constantly buy it, is uh, Rimmel London Stay Matte. And this is just a long-lasting powder press, so when you're done with your makeup, and I love this one because it's in matte, so it doesn't um, make your face shiny or greasy. And, excuse me. And I got this one in transparent. And my makeup lasts all day when I wear this. Okay. Staying in the same type of category. Um, this I have used up a few times. I think this is my second time. I'm sorry, guys. I feel a hair on my lipstick. Um, and this is the CoverGirl True Blend with Blendable Minerals. And this one is in... I see 450 here. And you see it's pretty used up. I gotta continuously get some of it out of there. But soon I gotta see if I find any coupons and stuff like that so I can purchase a few more. Um... Staying in the same category, um, I have the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder, and this is in, let me see, let me take out the sticker for you guys, because this is the newer one. Hmm, can't take it out. Oh, it's right up here. This is Beige, Beigeator, I believe that's how you say it, and that's how it looks, and hold on, guys. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah, this one's in, I'm sorry, this one's Natural Buff 318. And I love this one. This one does, in my opinion, have a little oily feel to it at times, but it goes away. And I love it because it's a liquid powder. So it's not streaky, and I find that it blends in really well, especially when I use it with the other ones that I showed you. Okay. And last but not least, I did find myself buying this one a few times, although I've alternated more to those, but I still use this one. And it is the L'Oreal um, True Match Super Blended Makeup. And it's this one. This is what it looks like. Because I use different shades when I want to contour my face and stuff like that. And this is just in beige because I'm pretty fair-skinned. Okay, guys. And now more on to eyes. That was more face. Um, I've been using this, I don't even know how many years. <laughs> I cannot live without this. I really love it. There's another one that I used to, Ramel London. I couldn't find it. I don't know if I ran out. But this is the one that I mainly use and I've used, I can't even remember how many years to be honest with you guys. And um, it's the Maybelline 
New York Eye Studio. I think ever since they came out, I've been using this. And this is just basically the black eyeliner. And this one's the 24 hour one. And this one comes with the little brush. I have so many of these brushes that come with it. Okay guys, can't believe I'm rocking green lipstick for the occasion. And still on eyes, this is when I kinda um, find these on sale or when I'm on a budget and I can't pick up that um, other uh, eyeliner I showed you or it's or is not available. I love, love, love these. I've had like five containers the other days, no lie, and I just threw some out that were empty. And it's the Wet n Wild H2O uh, waterproof liquid eyeliner. And I'm gonna put one down to show you it. Ah, okay. And it looks like that. And this is from Wet n Wild, so you know, it's like one of those pharmacy um, makeups that you find pretty cheap. I believe this is $2.99 or $3.99. Sometimes I can get it cheaper with my Rite Aid card. So this is one that I do pick up uh, constantly. And I did have a few more makeup that recently finished and I threw out and I wish I had the containers to show you, but I can always do another video of this sort. And it's just the same one I showed you. I have two at the moment and I just threw out like three empty containers like on Sunday when I was cleaning. Okay, and still on the eyes, um, this is a mascara I buy all the time. And this is the Scandalous Curvy Eye um, Alert, Curve Eye Alert from Ramo London. I love big dramatic lashes and this is one that I adore I actually buy a ton of different mascaras I don't just stick to one but this is all I have at the moment I have another green one up there but I'm not gonna get it and once again sticking to that kind of low budget makeup when I don't have I love these mega plump ones from wet and wild and I love 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 my makeup to be waterproof hopefully you can get that good and now heading more to lips. I don't have too many on hand right now, but um, cause I've been recently, um, what do you call it? Organizing my makeup and stuff like that. So I kind of still left some stuff in the garage, but anywho, my kind of favorites that I've been getting that are like not really, um, you know, too expensive are the NYC Expert Last. And this one is in Flirty. And it just looks like that. And I'm going to do a swatch for you. And this one is a very nice, like, pinkish color. And then one that is, like, very similar to it, but a little darker, is this Bury Me. And it's also from NYC. And I'm going to do a swatch right next to it. And it's a little darker. I feel like it looks darker on my hand than on my actual lips. And that is what they both look like. The Bury Me is on the top and the other one's on the bottom. And um, last but not least, guys, out of the, the constant makeup that I buy, um, my little sister just put me on to this, and this is my second time buying it because I went through this tube like if it was water, no lie. And it's just basically a matte lipstick. We buy these in, um, dang it, I got to remember the name. And this is just basically a matte lip cream. And this one is in Cream Burgundy. And it looks like this. Hot Topic is the store we buy these at. And they do have a few different shades, but when I went, unfortunately, they were out. And um, I just got a few of these burgundies. And it's definitely darker than the other ones. And this one's a matte one, and it lasts, and it looks so pretty. I've wore this in a few videos already, guys. And actually, some of you have asked me. So that's it right there at the bottom. So yeah guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's just basically the makeup I wear besides eyeshadows and stuff like that. But these are the main makeups I always buy and purchase because I always like to throw something on on my lips. A little cover up concealer and eye makeup, uh, mascara and uh, eyeliners are my ultimate fave and my go-to everyday look. So yeah guys, uh, these are... This was... Sorry, I'm, I got distracted by something. This was the repurchase 
tag i would like to say or rebought tag repurchase anyways guys by the title you would already know what it is i'm just gonna go ahead and check annette out and see what was it that <laughs> she titled her video so yeah i'm also gonna leave her um information in the description um, box down below or in my comments as well as her name somewhere around here at the beginning of the video and here possibly so yeah thank you for the tag girl and keep making your videos i love to watch them and to my subscribers i tag all of you especially um Genevieve, because she's like a little makeup guru over there, always posting videos and stuff with her makeup. So I tag you in this. Let's see what makeup you constantly buy. And as well as all my other subbies that like to do makeup and stuff like that. And yeah, guys, um, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love CC. Have a safe, um, happy St. Patrick's Day for those of you that celebrate it. Take care, guys. Until my next video. Bye. Love you.